Hello and good morning to this new uh, STM32 technical video. In this video I'll be talking about the RAM optimization and uh, how to optimize your uh, RAM usage. As you know, uh, so the Cortex-M3 uh, processor has a new feature which is uh, the inner-lined uh, data access. Means, uh, for example, if you have 32-bit uh, uh, variables, it doesn't have to be uh, uh, word-aligned to uh, allow the core to access uh, this variable. Or the same thing for the 16-bit data, they don't have to be uh, two bytes in the memory. Uh, so for example, we can see here on that slide, uh, here we have declared different uh, variables in memory, 32-bit, 8-bit, 16-bit memory variables. These variables, and you don't declare them like in order, like you start with the uh, 32-bit uh, variables, then you declare the 16-bit variables then you declare the 8-bit variables you may waste uh, some space because uh, the compiler may use for example uh, a 32-bit uh, memory location for uh, an 8-bit so you are wasting like four by uh, three bytes for just uh, an 8-bit and this uh, could present a loss you know because you will using uh, uh, you will be uh, wasting uh, memory but thanks to this uh, cortex m3 uh, in a line uh, memory access the sm32 and the Cortex M3 allow to have 32-bit uh, variables that don't start with a 4-byte address and fill in the gap and um, use the memory space and you'll have more free RAM space for uh, the rest of uh, your application. But we need to we need to understand that something is feature of the, the core. So not all the compilers they will take care of that and uh, they will not do that packing automatically so we need uh, sometimes to force the, the compiler to do that packing so during this presentation i'm going to show you how uh, to do that packing and uh, to see how the compiler will handle this kind of uh, memory uh, mapping so to do that uh, here i created an example where i declared different variables which are the same as uh, in uh, that example so we have 32-bit variable followed by 8-bit followed by 32-bit followed by three 8-bit variables and uh, so on so here are the declaration of the variables i have declared them as volatile to avoid that the compiler removes them because you can see here in my main routine there is basically nothing so i affect values to these variables so that's why i'm declaring them as volatile variables and then uh, you know in the main routine i just affect some uh, here in my case i will be using the simulator so i don't need to use uh, any of uh, the uh, real silicon so i'll go uh, and uh, compile and load that application okay I'll put the breakpoint in the white one and then I will see uh, the memory okay here is uh, the memory I put it here I will set it to four units and I will go to the address RAM start address okay and also I will add the symbolic memory view here I'll put it, put it this way and I will go to the same address okay so here we can see uh, our uh, variables uh, in memory and uh, our and uh, the declaration so here we need to um, see that the compiler was uh, smart enough to organize the these variables in memory in a way to to have uh, to avoid this uh, memory waste so he declared the uh, all the 32 bit variables first followed by the 16 bit variables followed by the 8 bit variables means that the compiler didn't respect the order of our declaration here in our main uh, main routine so i'll go and run code so here we can see uh, put them in uh, hexadecimal to be more clear okay 
Okay, so here we can say that uh, the compiler was uh, smart enough to organize uh, these variables in memory in a way to, uh, to optimize the memory usage. So, but in the case if you use a structure instead of uh, just variable declaration, so here's uh, I declared the structure, so the same uh, order of variables, but this time they are declared in a structure instead uh, of just a normal declaration. So we will run that project. So I'll go to the same address. Okay. So here we can see that now the compiler respected the order of the variables in uh, in our structure. And here we can see clearly that he left some spaces means here that we are wasting uh, some uh, memory uh, space. So we'll go uh, and verify that in the memory and run directly. So here we can see that here we, we have the first 32 bit variables. Followed by the AB here is the second 8 bit variables, followed by the 32 bit variables, followed by the two 8 bit or three 8 bit variables. Here the 56 F0 E1, and then there is an empty space and so here we can see that we are not really optimizing our memory usage and we have we are wasting some uh, memory okay now if you want to uh, really optimize the memory and uh, use that uh, waste space so and then we need to force the compiler to use the packed memory and uh, use uh, the inaligned uh, uh, memory access. So to do that we need to use the keyword underscore underscore packed that's specific for the IIR compiler. Now we go and rebuild the project and load it again. Okay. Okay. Same thing here. Okay. And now we can see here that the compiler used uh, all the memory. There is no uh, wasted memory on and RAM, so he's using the packed memory and he is using the inner line memory access and reduce the optimize the memory usage so we can hear that we don't have any space empty space left for that uh, in memory okay so uh, that's uh, the end of this video i hope uh, you enjoyed it and uh, thank you for watching